What is going on, guys? Yes, it's been almost two months. I will. I've been lazy. I thought about quitting YouTube. But I was like, eh, I don't know. So, I did trade the uh, S2000 for this. Um, I traded the S2000 for this and got 800 cash on top. Um, I've had the car for almost a month now, so I have, personally, I have changed a lot on this car. Some people might think it looked, uh, looked better when I got it, but, you know, I gotta, you know, change it up for my personal taste. So I'll go ahead and post, uh, photos up right now of how this car right here looked when I got it. All right, so as you can see from those photos I showed, it was slammed, uh, stands, cambered out in the rear, uh, 17 by nine plus 15 in the rear. Like the wheels were fucking five or six degrees negative camber. It was, it was dumb. So what I did is I sold, it was on True Heart, True Heart Coilovers. I took those off and I sold them. Now some people might be like, why would you sell coilovers? They were almost brand new also. Um, the front driver's side over there, the coilover was seized. I couldn't adjust it and it was stuck. Like it was adjusted where the car was slammed. So I couldn't raise the car up because if you guys know me, I'm not into the stand stuff no more. I like the, you know, the, the functional clean look where I can get over a speed bump. Because some of you guys know where I live, there are speed bumps that are probably at, I'm no joke, and probably at least six inches tall. Five to six inches tall, so I have to have that much of ground clearance. Um, some people might also notice that the front lip is gone in the photos that had a color match lip. Well, that was a eBay replica Honda factory performance HFP lip. Well, me being so low, I went to go pull up on my uh, back driveway at my house and I ripped it off and I didn't, I couldn't hear it. Like I literally, I heard it scrape and I thought, you know, okay, well, you know, it's just, you know, scrape, but no, it literally scraped, then fucking went underneath the car and I ran it over and broke it in half, which I don't care. Again, it was a replica eBay lip. If it was an OEM, it wouldn't have fell off because it would have been mounted properly. The dude I got this car from, he didn't mount that lip properly at all. Um, this car is a, uh, 2007 Honda Civic SI coupe, obviously six speed with a K20 Z3. Um, when the, the guy, the kid I got it from, he was a 17 year old kid. His mom bought him for him, bought it for him for a birthday. First car birthday present. Pretty good car. He paid like 8,000 for it. I'll post a photo up right now of this car when he got it. As you can see, when he got the car, it was bone stock. The only mods done to it when he got it was a Raymar intake and a uh, God Snow eBay three inch catback exhaust. But, so my, I'll tell you my plans and I'll show you some photos in a little bit of, um, <clears throat> I've, done, I've done a decent amount to this car already. Some people think I might've made it look worse, which I kind of agree because it's like a monster truck right now and has no lip kit on it, but I'm in the process of making it how I want it to look. First of all, what I want to get, I just washed the car off so there is water all over it. This car could use a buff and stuff, but these are the stock headlights, amber corners, and you can see the clear coats peeling on them. I want to get the, uh, they're off of eBay or whatever, they're headlights, what do you do? They're um, all black with a clear, turn signals. I think those look really good. Then also he put these horrible, in my opinion, ugly uh, yellow fog lights in here. And I think those yellow fog lights are gross. So I'm gonna be getting some clear fog lights. 
Also, he did this to the car. Um, when I got it, he had some fake black Password JDM ones on here. If you guys don't know, these are quick release um, bumper tabs. So when you're low and stanced, you need to take your bumper off all the time just to get in to get to in driveways and stuff. So all you do would pull this rubber band off. So you pull the rubber band off. Now your bumper comes off, which in my opinion is absolutely the dumbest thing ever. If you do if you do this to your car, I I don't see why. Some people do it for the looks. In my opinion, it looks absolutely stupid. This is probably one of the dumbest mods you can do to a car. Now, I can understand, like, the uh, the quick latches, you know, the little button here. Like I said, the car's dirty, so there's stuff on it. Like, the little quick latch button, like, you know, you push the button and it pops the bumper off. But these right here are the dumbest mod that you could possibly do to your car. And the sad thing is, these are only, like, $6 off of eBay. So, for $6, you can ruin your car, in my opinion, because... As you know, it's a bolt. Well, now I, if I take this off, I have a hole in the fender and a hole in the bumper. And these are OEM factory numbers matching fender and OEM matching uh, front bumper. So now to fix that, to fix it properly, I would have to probably like bondo the whole close, then repaint the whole fender. I don't know. Dumbest mod ever. Please do not do that. In my opinion, it's dumb. But anyway, I bought some red ones to try to make it blend in more, but it's whatever. So, he also took out the fender liner, as you can see. There is a paint chip right there. I'm going to take care of that. But, as you can see, these are the RPF ones off my uh, RSX that I had, the silver one. Um, long story short, when I traded my RSX for the S2000, the dude was supposed to buy these wheels for $1,500. Uh, like two months go by, I haven't got any money from him, so I went and got them back from him. And I got the inky lug nuts back also. I do have the uh, center caps. They don't fit because of the axle nut. I had the same problem with that on my RSX. Um, so I do have all the OEM Honda center caps. I'll throw a photo up of what the OEM Honda center caps are right now. Anyways, I have those for the all around. They fit in the rear, no problem, but they don't fit in the front. Um, as you can see, the rear is poking out a little bit. I haven't adjusted the camber. This car has a True Heart rear adjustable camber kits. Um, I'll show you the front fitment. This is how my fitment's gonna be when I lower it. The edge of the tire is right there. So it's pretty dang flush. Um, the specs of my wheels are 17 by nine plus 35 with a 245, 40, 17. Like I said, they are the wheels from my RSX. So I bought these wheels to fit the RSX. Um, they actually fit this car pretty dang good too. Like I said, for being 17 by nine with 245s on, on a Civic. That fits pretty good. I will be getting a, uh, a new grill. Uh, this right here is gonna go black because the red is ugly in my opinion. I'm gonna get a new emblem, SI emblem. Then I'm gonna get the JDM, the JDM uh, red badge for the front. Eventually I will get another HFP OEM front lip. Um, like I said, those dumb things are over here too. Overall, this body on this car is pretty dang good. I'll see if I can show you over here. There's like one little, you can see it right here, it's like a little crease dent. You can see it right here. I'm gonna try maybe see if I can get someone to pull that out. I'm not 100% sure because it is kind of like a crease. But that's like the only problems. Then he got a brand new windshield for the car brand new and you know how they put tape whatever on the windshield then on the roof well these hgen's clear coat are so bad that from them putting a piece of tape on the windshield and the roof it pulled the clear coat this car didn't have no clear coat peel at all that's that's dirt right there had no clear coat peel at all 
until he got a new windshield and it pulled the clear coat there, which I'm pretty bummed about, but I might be wrapping the roof black. I'm not 100% sure. It has WeatherTech, WeatherTech uh, rain guards, window visors, factory spoiler. They, uh, as you can see right here, they debadged. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. You can still see it where they used to be. They debadged the Civic. They left the SI. I'll show you the exhaust. Like I said, it's some God Snow. You guys should know me by now. I I won't be rocking this for long. It sounds decent. I'll do a sound clip in a little bit. Um, when I got the car, it the rear brakes were like locking up. So I went. They're probably yeah. They're dirty right now. Brake dust and stuff on them, you know. But I went on uh, eBay and found a company called Brake Motion, Brake Motive, Brake Motive. Sorry, Brake Motive, and I got um, drilled and slotted rotors. They are dirty right now. I got drilled and slotted rotors and refurbished uh, calipers and brake pads for super duper cheap. And the red looks really good in my opinion. Um, trying to think what else I do. Okay, so before I get into it too much, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up photos right now of uh, all the parts that I put into this car. It's not a lot, it's just mostly like maintenance stuff, but I'll go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I you know did some good maintenance stuff. I uh, changed the oil with this Castrol Edge, changed the transmission fluid with the AC Delco. This is a GM Synchro Mesh. Got the Honda Genuine coolant, because it was low on coolant. Got the brake fluid. Then as you can see in the photo, the K-tuned, um, the Clutchmaster cylinder and the slave cylinder is still in here. I haven't, uh, I haven't put it on the car yet because I've been lazy, but it's still brand new in the box still. I've been pretty lazy on working on this car, but so I did um, the K-Tune stuff, the shifter bushings, the sleigh cylinder, master cylinder. I got the JDM FD2 Type R key backing, which I don't have it on my key now, but here's the key. It's the... Uh, the Type R, the red logo for the key. I have to get a new key because um, the screw is stripped and I can't get it apart. And plus the housing's cracked and stuff and I'm just gonna get a whole new key. But I got <clears throat> Broadway mirror, full LED interior lighting, <clears throat> OEM Honda cabin filter. Uh, and when I got this car, I had a check engine light. So I bought a brand new OEM Honda O2 sensor. Um, I think what else I got the rear brake setup. I will be getting the same setup for the front. The front to actually work. The, the that rear caliper locked up. That's the reason why I uh, changed the whole rear. I'll be changing the front soon. Um, I got Core Sport short throw uh, shifter with the uh, shifter bushings. I'll go ahead and show you the interior. The interior is dirty. I mean, it is pretty dang clean for the age. The red stitching, the red stitching on the seats. A little bit of, you know, bolster wear, the typical stuff. Has the OEM floor mats. It does have a hole in the floor mat. I will be getting new floor mats soon. 
Like I said, it's pretty clean. Nope. Let me see. Like I said, it is my daily, so, you know, dailies get dirty. Has a factory radio, which I love. Um, factory shift knob, the shift boot is missing, like, some of the pleather, fake leather stuff. The shift knob is, you know, scratched up, but I'll be getting the, the FD2 Type R boot, shift knob, and the little collar that holds it all together. But I'll show you the throw in the car. Third, fourth. So it's not, it's not the shortest, but before third would be freaking like way up here, then fourth would be way down here. Like the throw is so long without a short throw. But like I said, I got the uh, Core Sport uh, shifter, short throw shifter adapter with the uh, solid shifter bushings. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I got the uh, the Jays Racing. Um, steering wheel badge off of eBay. And, uh, the problem I have, oh, Broadway mirror, I forgot to show that. Like I said, LED interior lights. The problem I had with the stereo, it has no Bluetooth. I mean, it has an aux down here, but I ain't trying to have a wire run to my phone and all that stuff. So I'll throw up a photo of the, the item I got right here and I'll talk about it. As you can see, that is a, it's called a Monster uh, Bluetooth Wireless Adapter. So if you look in here, I got the adapter in the center console, all like hidden away and tucked. So all I have to do, I'll show you really quick. Give me one sec, let me get my uh, keys out. All I gotta do is put the key in the car, turn it on, and it comes on. And all I gotta do is turn the radio on then uh, turn my Bluetooth on my phone, and it instantly connects to that Bluetooth adapter there. And then it pretty much makes it, you know, connects to Bluetooth, and I can listen to my music with, you know, this little Bluetooth adapter. And that adapter was only $9 from Walmart. I had to order it from Walmart. But I thought that was pretty cool, you know, little 8th uh, Gen owner, you know, thing that I did. I said it was $9. It's the Monster brand, which is a good brand, you know. Monster makes uh, Beats by Dre and all that stuff. But so now that my uh, stereo has Bluetooth and it sounds really good. So that's pretty cool. Bluetooth for, you know, a whopping $9 and it works excellent. But the interior is pretty clean. Um, the trunk... Has a fa factory uh, spare tire and jack and jack stand, or uh, jack and four-way, I mean. Like I said, this is a numbers matching car. Every body panel has a factory VIN number on it, everything. This car is pretty dang clean. Um, I'm trying to think uh, what else is I can show you. I got the factory owner's manual. I'll throw up a photo right now. When I got this car, he didn't tell me anything about this. He, it was just in the glove box, but I have the factory owner's manual, the factory window sticker, um, like everything factory that came with this car, like every owner's manual, starter guide, everything with this car, which is pretty rare to have, you know, have all that stuff for a Civic. I'll go ahead and throw a photo of that, of that right now. But yeah, so this car is really good, like, well taken care of. Some people don't like 8th gens, uh, I agree. I hated these cars for the longest time, and I'm still kind of like on the fence about them. Um, I do like driving it, it's comfortable. Um, this thing definitely needs a factory HFP lip kit all around, because it looks like a bubble, which makes... A lot of people don't like this car. I'll go up and throw throw up a photo right now of uh, what I want this car to look like when I'm done. If you guys know the Tong Man, shout out to Tong Man. Follow him on YouTube at the Tong Man. He has a 380 wheel horsepower uh, H Gen Si. Looks just like mine, or mine looks just like his. 
but he has his he's lowered different headlights fog lights and the lip kit all around and it looks mean it looks so dang good i cannot wait until my car looks like his i'll go up and uh go ahead and throw a photo of his car up right now As you can see, his car, for how simple mods, you know, he has a lip kit all around. Then his grill is black, which that's when I want to do mine. He also has the Mugen RR hood, the uh, replica one from VIS Racing. I eventually want to, like, pretty much copy his car. Call me whatever, you know, copying another dude's car, but his car is clean. He's on uh, HFP struts with uh, Eibach Pro Kit lowering springs. Um, I, like I said, I sold the coilovers and I went and bought some stock suspension. I will be getting um, Eibach Sportline lowering springs and getting a lip kit all around and getting alignment and doing all that stuff. Um, I can't think of anything else. I know it's been a minute since I made an update. I'm sorry, it just, I should have, didn't, I should have stopped procrastinating when I got the car and made a video when I, you know, when I got the car and me changing wheels, trading wheels and getting these wheels back and, you know, had like a little build on it, but I, uh, I completely, for, I mean, I procrastinated and I should have did it too because I've done a decent amount to this car because it looks, you know, pretty different than from when I got it. I forgot to show you under the hood. I forgot to mention this car is a, uh, like I said, it's a 2007 with uh, 134,000 miles, 2007, 134,000 miles, clean title. Um, if you guys didn't know, the S2000 was 124,000, but the S2000, it was, it was terrible. Like, I mean, it had a rebuilt salvage title. It was hit in the front. It was been in a wreck twice in the front, and I didn't know that when I traded. The previous owner didn't know either. But as you can see, I'm missing the uh, little panel piece that goes here. I'm missing that piece. It has a uh, short ram intake, and that's the only mods done to it. I uh, changed the spark plugs. That's another thing I forgot that I did. Then as you can see the uh, the K-Tune shifter bushings. The car is dirty. I haven't really like detailed anything. Eventually, you know, I want to get a new battery strap and all that little stuff that I did on my RSX. And I want to get the uh, the K-Tune uh, three inch uh, Ram air intake or a uh, three inch uh, cold air intake, which will relocate the battery. I want to get the K-Tune fuel rail, the K-Tune coil pack cover, all that good K-Tune stuff. Cause I'm about her for K-tuned, but anyway, that's my plans for this car. It's gonna be like a full bolt-on car if I decide to keep it. I like this car. I do want to get something different. I'm not 100% sure on what I want yet. I kind of want like a JDM front Integra, like you know my buddy's car back there, um, or maybe like another EG hatch or an EK hatch or EK coupe. Something older, you know, shit, maybe even another RSX. I'd be down to get another RSX. I, I missed mine. I should have never got rid of it. But my RSX had 200,000 miles and my RSX had rust in the quarter panels. That's the reason why I got rid of it. But anyway, I would love to have a car like my buddies here. This car is so clean. The JDM front, Integra. I would show you it more, but watch my previous videos to see this car. It's super duper clean. I uh, I would love to have this car, but he yeah, I don't want to get rid of it. But anyway, that's gonna be the update for now. Uh, next video, I'm not 100% sure on when it will be, but my next plans are to get the lowering springs, um, to get an alignment, the lip kits all around and the grill and other other little things but this car is my daily so 
I've just been driving it. But I guess to stay tuned, I'll try to uh, make more videos. But until then, catch you later, guys.